Hello guys, my name is Bruceify and I'll be speedrunning uh, Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius. Three, two, one. Okay. Uh, I tried speeding running this before, but because of technical errors, I couldn't. Hello, Jim. Um, How are you today? I want to speedrun this because it is a pretty short and broken yeah! game, so there's less room for error. Um, one thing I will say, turning in this game is pretty hard. You turn pretty damn slow. So, uh, there might be times where I mess up on a turn. Alright. This game is fairly short. It can be beaten at, in an average of an hour and a half. I, um... When I first speedrun this, I got about 40 minutes, and then I, when I did a second speedrun of this, I, I smashed it by actually 12 minutes, a large amount of time, so, so, yeah. Uh, it's, I think it's mostly due to the fact that I found a glitch with one of the inventions, so we will be abusing this when I can. Um, so yeah, ever, so t I've only technically t practiced speedrunning this twice, so... Yeah, I know, pretty sad, but, um, yeah. Not sure if there's many- I haven't tested the game completely for any, uh, triggers, like if I need to talk to these NPCs or not. But I don't want to find out right now, because right now I'm in the middle of it. Alright, last time I did this, I actually spawned inside, like, next to or around- No, I, I pretty much spawned inside that ramp you saw at the beginning. So, uh, yeah, it actually slowed me down a bit, so I'm glad I didn't, I didn't spawn there before, or this time. I'm very nervous talking while doing this. My heart is just racing, because I've never done this before. So, sit back and enjoy, like, about 30 minutes of this. Oh, crap, don't crash in the next, because I was so down. Yeah, Nick shows you how broken the AI is in this game. Like, my god. Oh yeah, you'll see I'm getting points. Points don't matter. In fact, they never matter. This is probably as well designed as an Atari 2600. Atari 2600 games will better well design this. Sorry for... Sorry for, like, everyone um, who really loved this game, but this game is pretty damn broken. And sim and it's pretty damn simply made for an early PC game. So I did mess up, like when I was recording this before, I did mess up on one of these turns. But this time I didn't, so I'm lucky. Oh yeah, prepare for like probably the worst commentary ever, so that timer up there doesn't mean there's no point of that timer up there you literally cannot do this again that timer will never reappear it'll never get a best time or anything that you can beat in most like in most racing games you know how there's like a, a best time and whatever there's really no point other other than just restarting the game and doing this again for a better time. I'm pretty much going to get one of the best times out there. It's not like you can get a bad time unless you're fucking around. I will be exposing like one glitch. Oh, that's a waste of time, see? Alright, I don't need to talk to that NPC I figured out, so we're just gonna walk around him and save like a second. Okay, area 51. Alright, so we're gonna go over here. Um, pretty soon we'll be getting one of the most broken, uh, inventions in the game, because it allows Jimmy Neutron to run faster at the right moment. If you exit it, exit this, uh, invention, at the right uh, momentum, you'll actually run much faster. All right. See, what happened here was I pre was pressing spacebar a lot, and for some reason, it minimized my gain. So, um, luckily, it didn't happen this time. 
We're about five minutes in. We're about five minutes in and we're already at the alien ship. There's about, I think, 40 missions? What the fuck's with that noise? <laughs> so yeah, uh, to save time, to not get hit, we're just gonna go invisible. It doesn't really matter whether or not we go invisible. These guys are, these guys are pretty, um, pretty damn intimidating, but other than that, they're... So we are going to get this bubble, and we're going to pick up this red meat for more health. And we are going to be exposing one of the most uh, broken mechanics in this game. I don't know why. See, you run faster if you use that. So now we're going to be heading home. Hey mom, I just got back from being kidnapped by the aliens. Oh, shit. Motherfucker. It's not in here. It's not in here. It's not in here. Alright, Mom, come on! Ah, you fucking bitch! Ah, that killed some seconds. Now I can. Probably the best music in the game. One of the three tracks. Here we go. Alright, it did not work that time. Oh well. This game goes by very quickly. Very quickly. So by give key to mom, we're gonna instead go to the go to the chest um, and get it herself. And I believe mom, it's over here. Flowers. Yeah, it's over here. Yeah, yeah it's over here. Uh, come on. Outstanding. Like I said, I'm no expert at video games, nor am I an expert at speed running. I'm just doing this for Here's shits, mostly just shits and giggles. Hang on, let me get that red right. And now we're almost at a hundred. If you press I, which I'm gonna show you, you see that you see that screen? That is your collect screen. You can, it's. You saw I got hit by Darwin. Um, that actually um. That actually uh. Um. That actually um. I don't know. I I a lot of words. You actually take damage, but you can keep moving. Damn it. You'll pretty much guarantee to do it if uh, you uh, jump and then uh, stop. For some reason, Sheen is in your backyard. Alright, now we gotta go downtown. Mom loves uh, flowers. I'll collect them and put them in a vase for my home. Uh, I think it's faster to go this way. Yeah. This part is pretty damn, um, stupid. So, um, we gotta use Goddard to go get this part. This is the only time in the entire game we will need to use this. Most of these gadgets are just you. The, the world is extremely fucking small. Oh, and sorry for the cursive language if you're a little kid and stuff, but yeah, I am not. I have partial threats. Well, not really. Oh, come on. Uh, so close. There we go. Also, I'm pretty sure it's faster to just hover. Alright, there's no point of doing it here, because, yeah, that's the exit's right here. Okay. Let's see she's in home. Alright, so we're gonna go... Alright, 
right, so you go over here. Ah, uh, Libby. And then it says Sheen's at school. Oh, I need to save some time and go this way. Now you want to go to Retroland, which is one of the new places you can now visit. Oh. Uh, see why I'm at turning's awkward. You can't use the bubble here, that's why I'm not using it. Despite that door being perfectly open, you actually cannot go through that exit as an exit for some reason. Oh, no, no, I accidentally clicked it. There we go. Oh, wait, no, no, hang on. I'm doing it wrong. I'm doing it wrong. Ah! So now it says, uh, give autograph to Sheen near home. So we're going to head home. Any... Anytime you see an NPC moving like that, you'll, you'll want to talk to them. So now Sheen, it says Sheen's at the candy bars for some dumb fuck reason. For some guy who really wants this autograph, he sure moves a lot. I don't know, maybe just, maybe just the way, it's probably just, it's mostly just to pan out the game. Get, get Rocket from Ultra Lord. So now, uh, we gotta talk to Libby. It's funny we know where Libby is, but we don't know where Cindy is. You'll see in a second. Find Cindy in Retro Land. She's at the Octo Puke. I don't know why it just doesn't say that. Probably the most complaining guy. If I were to ever do a speedrun of this game in public, it will not be the same. I can promise you that. I will not talk the same. I do not talk the same way in public when I when I talk to well, pretty much myself. So now we have Miss Fowl's keys for some reason, and then we gotta go get the plutonium for some reason. We are 12 minutes in. Oh, 12 minutes. 52. Maybe you will puke. Ride the hey, ride. maybe no, you wait. will puke. First come, first I'll, if I wanted to ride the part, if I wanted to ride ride, I'd stick to, uh, if I wanted to ride rides, I'd stick to the Sim theme park. Okay, so now we're going to go to school, and when I first did a speedrun of this, I actually wasted a ton of time because I could not find Miss Fowl's classroom. But, after playing this twice now, I now know where it is. It's right here. Nothing can hide from Jimmy Neutron. So we're going to head to the power plant, and this is actually probably the hardest part of the game. Not because, uh, not because... Not because, uh, it's not because you know there's some real chance to it. Because it's so easy to lose um, uh, neutrons here. So, and this is like the only time we're gonna be using our uh, baseball. The baseball is pretty hard to aim because you keep uh, shifting the arm. And the bubble like wastes. Get that LP 
the boat's fun in this one. Yes! Alright. So, when we go low... If we go low neutron energy, we're going to be, uh... Not using the bubble, because it's a risk. I don't want... Oh, come on. You have to, like, be lined up perfectly. Come on! It's much easier to do with this with the mouse. There we go. Your bubble, like, pretty much defies the laws of physics. So we're going to be using our grappling hook here just because I don't want to risk, uh... Oh! Let me tell you, when I did that, when I was practicing and I almost fell off... Uh, that was fucking scary. Anyway, so we're going to... Shotting, you know, the thing. The, uh, button. Oh, 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 I nearly swung off the platform. And it, like I said, it's hard to turn, so it's better not to risk, uh... I took a hit, it's it's fine though. I still have plenty of neutrons left. Oh shit! I did not know if I touched that, uh, I would get hurt. And for some reason the entire room is going green now. So we are not going to be using uh, the bubble for the rest of this, because if we lose all our neutrons, we have to start this over. Okay, that went pretty good. Now we're gonna wait for the fa we have to wait. Unfortunately, we have to wait for the fan to like almost completely turn off. There we go. Because if we don't, we'll actually get pushed back, and there's there, there's no protection there. So if let me get this, there's no protection there. So um, um if we lose, we uh fuck. So now we have to head to area 51, which is actually the sadly the finest final part of the game. We will not be using the bubble. We will be using the rocket ship. Um, I do always have a little trouble finding the thing. Oh, there we go. It, took, it takes me like quite a few. It takes me like some time to find it because of the bad render distance, and I always I for easily forget. Sometimes I easily forget. This. And we are going to be picking up these neutrons. So yeah, this is like the one of the long final stretch of the game. This is actually the last part of the game, believe it or not. Oh shit! I meant to pick up that 39 objectives. Hold on, Goddard. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. It took me to gotta get here. Like if I were, to, when I was taking my time to do this, it took me an hour and a half. But these guys are very bad at aiming, so. Unless you're like in front of them like this, see? It's actually quite easy to take damage here. And for some Child reason, play. at this part specifically, Child we can switch play. back to the area 51 music. And those rocks are like really no threat unless you're a little kid. That red neutron. Uh, oh, shit. Excellent. Oh, 
get, you can get that. Yes. The red neutrons have tons of energy. They count as your health, but they also count as your power for gadgets. You would have to use gadgets a lot to get them to zero. Okay, so we are going to be getting these red neutrons, you see? Ah, uh, motherfucker! Alright, we're going to get that one. And we passed it. The hit detection is like redundant for each object. So I think like I would get Child. that from being that close, but no, I actually have to touch it. There are up there are landmines that are upcoming and the, the hit detection on them is so bad. You have to be far away from where they're up where they are. Alright, it's no problem. Let's get this one. So my time when I did this last was about 20 minutes. I want to see if I can beat that, if not get around that. Alright, so we're here already. Um, for, like, this is, for some reason, here we have our shrink ray, but the next part we will, will not, for some reason. Uh, I don't, I'm not, I am not, um... Got him. He was about to hit me, and I think uh, if he would have hit me while I was on my jetpack, I probably would have flown backwards. The music here is actually pretty ambient. So we're going to head over here, and the ships continue flying. Now, this is actually the second part of the flying part. This is the last time we'll be using the rocket ship in the game, sadly. And it's like the last freaking uh, invention you get, so yeah. <laughs> Check out that clip. Funny thing is, if you go fast enough, you can actually clip through the ship. So yeah, I thought that, I just thought that was funny. Oh shit, they're landmines. You have to stay far away from them, otherwise they will hit you. Which is kind of stupid. Sorry if I complain a lot during this. But on time, we're actually doing pretty good. We're actually, we might be going fast, slightly faster. If it wasn't for all those um, bad uh, turns and whatnot, I probably would be doing really good. Oh, fuck. So don't take the bottom tunnel, because... See, look at that. Any other ship in any other game would have crashed through there. So we were at 22 minutes. I said like this the last time, my record is 20. Look at that turning animation. Look at that pristine flying. Mmm. Don't you love well designed games? Yeah, even though I complain a lot, even though there's a lot to complain about this game, this game is somehow still good. Today's standard, this game would just be thrown out the window. But back then, but as a game for early 2000s, it's pretty good. And it's Jimmy Neutron. Who the fuck did not grow up with Jimmy Neutron? More important, why was the show canceled? Or why did it end? Uh, Planet Sheen, I did not watch because I did not care about it. I saw the first episode because it had um, Jimmy Neutron in it and I was curious. After that, it just went downhill. Oh, yes. I was actually very lucky to get that Red Neutron. Funny. Oh yeah, you wanna hear something funny? You actually do not need to riding a rocket ship for this part, you can easily walk. But, I'm flying for the sake of flying. And also, it's faster than walking. Oh, at least I hope it is. Oh yeah, you can- if- oh, it's not as fast as using the bubble though. And you cannot use the bubble this part, so yeah. See, I just got hit. Even though it looked like I avoided it, I got hit. Um... Yeah. So we're almost there. Like, if I can open up the game's uh, um, files and let me use the bubble anywhere, I would, but I can't. And that, that's not really glitching. That's more cheating. Okay. Okay, so this is actually the... One of the final- Oh, we can actually use the bubble here. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Oh, 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 intruder oh, alert! Oh, that intruder wasted intruder time. Alert, intruder alert! Um... 
Yeah. We don't have our jetpack either, which is really weird considering that Jimmy Neutron. Cool. Doesn't Jimmy Neutron keep his jetpack in his backpack? So then why the hell do we, don't we have it? Oh, fuck. Shit. Oh. If it wasn't for the. If it, I wasn't going like that, I would have fallen! Ah, uh, no. Sadly, this is the only time I've ever fallen. No. And we just wasted a bunch of time. Oh, no! Intruder alert. Do you see Intruder what I meant by the alert. turning? Intruder the turning Intruder is pretty alert. damn bad. All right, we're not gonna, we're not gonna make it, but at least we can finish. We're almost done. Let's grab this thing by the dick and jerk it off. What? The only way I could, I could think I could make up that time is if I. Oh sh! No! What's fucking around it? Intruder alert! 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 Oh no, it doesn't matter. We have to go this way anyway. So yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna make that my time. Like I said, it was about twenty. I think it was twenty-eight forty-two. Intruder alert! It's very easy. If you hit one of these lasers, the door will like. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Intruder alert! So yeah, we're not gonna make our time. We're already at 27. Jetpack noise here. So yeah, we're, like I said, we're not gonna make our time. We got one minute. By bad turning? Jesus Christ! Oh god, we have 40 seconds. Oh. And time! Final time! 28 minutes, 31 seconds! I'll have to check with my other clock. If it's not my favorite little man. Screenshot that for me. People. Sure. Right away. Wow, that was easy. Guards, take him I'm, away. I screenshot intruder it in case alert, something happens to my phone. Alert, in case I Are you pointing at me? That's it. Help! Mama! 28 minutes, 31 seconds. Not sure if that's a world okay. record. I find a peaceful approach. Prepare to be scrambled! Ah. Uh, oh, uh, <clears throat> okay. You heard the man. Send them all back home. Let's go, everybody. This is not a very good Let's popular go game. Uh, this isn't right. the last time we meet, Jimmy Neutron. Oh, yes, it is. Because after this... Oh. It says rescue Carl from Yokins, but... All right. All right, so that's it. The only glitch now is that I skipped the cutscene and then opened it up and now I can walk around. Now it's left. I don't know what all those numbers are by Jimmy's head. But looking at him is pretty creepy. And this is the end credits. 
So, yeah, that was Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius with the uh, bubble with the bubble invention glitch. He takes all the sound effects and reuses them for the sound credits for some reason. But, um, yeah, that was my speedrun of Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius. Tell me what you think of it. Um, I know it wasn't perfect, and I know there was some complaints, some, some uh, some, uh, uh, mistakes, and, you know, it wasn't perfect, but I feel like, you know, this is, this, it, I, I feel like it's still pretty good. Um, I might have beaten my time, let me actually check on that, I'll check on my phone's screenshots, because I did screenshot the last one I used. There's not many very there's not many tracks in this game. You all like it? Okay. Gotta work this time. I can feel it. It just loops again. Holy shit. Okay, so get this. My first speed run, 32 minutes 29 oh, seconds. Darn. My second speed run. I was looking forward to eating shut, that. Shut up, Carl. My second speed run is 28.44. My this one, this time. 2831. I shot that by set. I sh I beat my record by 13 seconds. That is insane. I'll probably get better as I go. And if I ever if I ever do feel like speedrunning this again, I'll make sure to update you with my times. It probably will. It'll probably just be seconds sped up each time. Cause there are there are maybe a few more locations where you can abuse the bubble running uh, glitch, but um. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I like to thank you guys for enjoy for watching the speed run. Um, I don't know if I'll ever, I'll probably never be part of the speed demos archive. Um, oh yeah, that's the whole reason I did this because I've been watching the speed demos archive. I really love the work they do. I like the uh, charity work. I like the do it's awesome they take those donations and put them towards charities. Um, yeah, if if I were to ever. Uh, be part of that community, which I'm probably never going to be. Uh, I, I probably de I would say, hey, I sped run this game. Let me join you. Um, yeah, it's yeah, like I said, it's not perfect. No speed run is perfect. I mean, there's always going to be a world record. But as far as I know, this might be the world record for this game. So, yeah, I will see you guys in the next are, video. Bye-bye! Sure oh, and I will be Let's Playing this game.